Hey guys, welcome to the Creative Arena. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this next level custom border animation. And I'm also going to show you how to make this effect display only on hover, like what we have here. Okay, so without further delay, let's dive in and get started. In our Elemental Editing screen, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to come over here and let's add a Flexbox container. Now let's select this structure here. Now we're going to come over here. Set the content width to full width and then for the minimal height, I'm going to change the unit from pixel to VH and give it a value of 100. Then I'm going to come over here, justify content to the center and align it to the center. I head over to the style option now for the background type, I'm going to set it to classic and give it a background color. This. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come over here, click on this plus icon here, drag the container, drop it here. Now, for this container, I'm going to set the content width to full width and then for the width, I'm going to change the unit from percentage to RM. And then give it a value of 20 rm and then a minimal height i'm going to change the uniform pixel to rm and give it a value of 25 rm now that i've done that the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to come over here justify content to the center okay and then align item to the center as well for this container now for this container here i'm going to call it the box box container then i'm going to come over here to the style option here and then i'm going to give it a temporal background color which will be removed later on in the video. Now I'm going to sell it to this color here. Then I'm going to come down here for the border. I'm going to give it a border radius of 10 pixels all around. So we now have something that looks like this. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on this plus icon here and drag another container drop here. Now for this container here, I'm going to call this container the content. Okay. Now for this content container, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to the advanced settings here and then i'll link the padding now for the top i'm going to set it to 20 pixel to the right 30 pixel to the bottom 20 pixel and to the left 30 pixel as well then i'm going to come over here click on this plus icon and drag our icon widget here now i'm going to come over to the icons and select this icon here okay and then i'm going to go to the style option align it to the left for the primary color i'm going to set it to white Right. So the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come over here, drag the header widget and drop it right below the icon. And for the text here, I'm gonna call it creative box. Okay. Then I'll go to the style option. Now for the text color, I'm gonna set it to white. Okay. Then I'll go to the typography. I'm gonna leave the font family as is, and then for the font size, I'm gonna leave it as default as well. But for the weight, I'm gonna increase the weight to 600 semi bold. Now I'm going to come over here and drag the text editor and drop it right below the heading widget. I'll head over to the style option and then for the text color, I'm going to set it to white. Great. Now, finally, I'm going to come over here and drag, drag the button widget and drop it right below the text widget. Now for the button widget, I'll just go back to the style option and for the background color, I'm going to give it the background color of C, P, four, pair, zero, six. Okay, great. So now we now have something that looks like this. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do here is, is we're going to add our code here, which will produce our wonderful effect. But before we do that, I'm going to go to the background, to the box. Now for the box, I'm going to come over to the background. Remember I said this background we've given it is a temporal background. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to set the background to transparent. So I'm going to drag it here. I will now have a transparent background like so. So the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to head over to this container here and then I'm going to go to the advanced settings, come down to the custom CSS. Mind you, the custom CSS feature is only available on the Elementor Pro. So there will be a link in the description of this video where you can get the Elementor Pro if you do not have it. So what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to head over to my VS Code editor here where I've already written the code. Now, not to worry, this code will be made available for you on the comment section for you to copy and make use of it on your project for free. So I'm just going to copy it out here and then I'm going to go back to our editor here and then I'm going to add it here. Now you can see that nothing has happened, no effect has taken place on our website. The reason for that is we haven't added the class. So we're just going to come over to the box class here, the box, and then we'll come down here to the CSS class. This is where we're going to add the class called box. Okay. Now you can see our effect is already taking place on our website, but we can see now that our content is no longer showing. So to fix that, we're going to come over to the content here, and then we're going to come down here to the Z index and give it a value of five. Now, 
we now have this wonderful effect on our website as you can see this looks great now to spice this up and try and make our website more interactive we can make this effect to only display on hover and to do that is really easy so we're just going to come over here to the content container where we have our css code we're going to come down to the custom code in order to make this effect only display on hover we're going to come over to this class here now just immediately after the class box we're going to add a column and then we're going to give it a title to hover and then we're going to come down here to where we we'll have this box and then before and then we're going to come over between it and then add uh, a text here hover as well and then when you come over here when you hold by you'll see the effect now displays on hover so as you can see this is a wonderful feature that you can use to spice up your website design so you can also come over here if you want to change the color this is where you can change the color make sure you change this color here this one here and every color here like this and then you come down here and do the same here to whatever color you want to suit your project okay so we've come to the end of this tutorial if you've learned something new from this tutorial remember to give this video a thumbs up and if you are new to our channel remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified first when there's a drop a new video feel free to drop your comment wherever you're confused and i'll do well to attend to as much as i can but until then see you on the next video bye bye